Welcome back to your weekly Calvin Update. I am Mackenzie Voss, and I am here with the head women's tennis coach, Kevin Van Heitzma. How are you doing, Coach? I'm doing great. Thank you. Good. Thanks for being with us today. Congratulations on your 8-3 start this season. Can you tell us a little bit about the beginning of your season so far? Yeah, we've had a good year so far. We had a good spring break, went 4-1 and one there. We just started, um, we had a big last week, a uh, big win over Aquinas 7-2, so it's two years in a row we got them, and then a uh, nice 9-0 win over Alma on Saturday to start out MIAA. So, very happy with it. Good, good. I'm glad. Congratulations on that. You've had several returning members from your lineup from last year. How has this translated into some strong wins for you guys? Yeah, we lost three seniors last year, but uh, we have a lot of re uh, returners as well. Um, and we only have one freshman, so we have quite a bit of experience in the lineup, and uh, we've gotten everybody a lot of matches in there. So you definitely start to see it uh, throughout the year that uh, the experience is really paying off. Great. Having a relatively young team, you guys have junior captains this year, is that correct? Yes, we have uh, two junior captains, Clara Spoolhoff, who's a second-year captain, and okay. Ellie Benzel, who's a first-year captain. Great. And how have they done leading your team? They've done a great job. Just uh, I can talk to them about anything you know, with the team, and they do a great job leading the players, too, on and off the court. Great. And um, a few weeks ago, you had your annual spring break trip. Um, how did that go for your team, and how has that helped them propel through the first few weeks? Yeah, the way we set it up, you know, we had two uh, matches that uh, we played well in one, and then we had three matches that were 50-50 matches, um, and so I wanted to kind of get them battle-tested on spring break. So we won two out of three of those, um, and we battled some heats as well, which was always a good way to uh, get players mentally tough, whether we like it or not. Uh, so it really just helps us get uh, ready for MIAA, which just started out. Great. So you just started off your regular season with a win against Alma, and you have two big matches coming up this week. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we have about as big as a match you can get coming up next uh, on this Wednesday against Hope, always the big rival. Uh, and they've gotten us, you know, the better of us the last two years, but we hope to make it closer and see if we can take them down this year. And then we have Kalamazoo on Saturday. So they finished one and two in the league last year, so it's the toughest two tests, but uh, I think we're ready to see what we can do against them. Awesome. And finally, why don't you tell me a little bit about your goals for the rest of the season and your hopes? Yeah, our goals, you know, going in as far as uh, team play, our goal was to make the top four again uh, in the conference, which we did last year. Uh, and ideally, we'd like to be top three. So I'll see if we can, you know, challenge Hope and Kalamazoo and uh, see if we can get top three another year, uh, second year in a row. In the academic goal, our goal as a team is finished with the team on a roll of 3-3 three, three or above. Uh, last year, we finished with just over a 3-5, so a very good year. Uh, and our goal is to at least get a 3-3 again, and we're right on pace for that so far. Um, and then a spiritual goal, just you know, bonding with a team. And like, for instance, we'll do team devotions again tonight. Um, and just really bonding together uh, closer to spiritually. So, Great. Well, thank you so much for being with us tonight, and best of luck with the rest of your season. Um, until next week, for your next weekly Kevin update, go Knights.